What is up, YouTube? Back again with another vlog. And today, I'm just riding around in the uh, in the city a little bit. But I think it'll be a perfect time because I'm just driving around in in the city, no highway, no back roads to talk about at least for me the top three most annoying things that a drivers can do to either get me upset mad irritated annoyed so if you're watching this and you're a driver I'm sure uh, a lot of the uh, motorcycle riders, a lot of riders out there might agree with my top three most annoying things that drivers will do. Number three. The number three spot goes to following too closely. If you're a driver and you're following a motorcyclist too close, that motorcycle, or the ri that rider I should say, will not have enough time to react to any other situations that's in front of them because they know you're right behind them and potentially can smash right into you. So that's the number three thing. And again, it is pretty dangerous, potentially deadly, at the least, very annoying. Number two, number two thing, and you drivers do this all the time. Now I chose this lane because it's easier to understand what I'm talking about. A motorcyclist like myself, when they're riding in a lane like this, will choose one of three positions to be in. I'm going to show you. Imagine this lane that I'm on is split into three separate lanes. Okay, so we'll call this position number one, middle, position number two, and this side is position number three. Now, based on which lane I'm in, I will pick a position, and it's called a blocking position. We name it a blocking position because we're trying to block you guys from coming up beside us. So if I'm picking this lane, for example, or this part of the lane, so position number one, I am blocking you from going over here because I'm trying to give you as less room over here as possible. But you drivers, you figure it out somehow. While we're in our blocking position, you think that you have enough room because the bike is smaller. If you want to, if you're trying to make a right, you figure, oh, there's enough space there. Let me, uh, let me uh, squeeze right through. Let me tell you something. It is one of the most annoying things actually I wouldn't say one of the most because that's still number two it is very annoying that you would uh, try to do that because we're not expecting a car to be beside us and trust me when I tell you looking through a helmet you know you have a pretty good peripheral visions 
but a, a giant car showing up beside me will get you pretty upset. Number one, it's illegal. Number two, very annoying. And if I'm riding and you do it, potentially deadly. Now for number one, the number one thing that's the least annoying to potentially and extremely deadly is, and is the reason why I'm in this lane. Now again, just like with number two, I'm gonna. I'm in my defensive blocking position. I'm blocking you from getting up beside me, or coming up beside me onto my onto my left here. But if a rider has picked a uh, the wrong, let's say, uh, position. Let's say I'm in my farthest left position if you're trying to make a left at this light right here coming up you're not gonna see me and I'm not gonna see you because let's for example there's a car here making a left as well the other car on uh, in the oncoming side is making a left as well you're not gonna see me and I'm not gonna see you because I'm blocked by the car that's making a left and uh, you won't see me because of that same reason. So what I would do is, when I'm coming up to a light, I, I'm going to be in the far right position because that would give me the best vantage point to kind of peek around and see if there's a car making a left. But the problem is, that I'm getting ready for you to make a left or, or potentially cut up cut in front of me. But the driver might not judge the speed that I'm coming towards you and you think that there's enough space or enough time for him or her to make that left. That's where it's the problem is. Where you don't have that enough enough time and I don't have enough time to stop or I come potentially dump my, dump my bike because I'm trying to avoid a collision so I, I, I'm going to end up dumping the bike or I smash right into you. Now, don't get me wrong. That is extremely deadly. And I've learned recently, because of a small fender bender that I was involved in, uh, that it's probably, it, it is, based, based on my uh, adjuster's information that the adjuster gave me that it is the most common uh, type of incidences or accidents that motorcyclists get into when a uh, driver cuts a left in front of uh, a motorcycle so even though it's on the more of a deadly scale, not annoying. If I react to it, it's definitely going to scare scare the uh, living bejesus out of me. So what do you think about my list? If you if you agree with my list, hit a like. If you agree with my list and you think 
that I hit it right on the head, hit a like, and subscribe. Or just subscribe because uh, I'll be spitting out some more content before uh, before the winter comes. See? See that? There you go. Case and point. So with that, I will end it. Here we go, another one. You see that? Now if I, here's another one. You see that? Cutting up in front of us. Because they all think that they can do it before the biker gets there. Potentially an extremely deadly situation. But I'm glad I got to show you three examples. <laughs>